Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got this cute slimline card using Hello Ladybug and the Tree Lot dies. Let's get started. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft mat and I've used the tree lot dies, which are one of the items that you can earn during celebration, which runs July and August, 2022. You can use the link in the description below this video to um, go to my store and check out the celebration items. So I've got a piece of polished pink that I've partially cut with the camper die and I'm just trimming off the post at the front and I'm going to take the wheel off and then there's a line straight across here so I'm going to cut straight across and then I'm going to cut the door out I don't know if you've seen the Happier Camper. I'm in love with those. It's on my want list, or at least my dream of list, and I thought it would be fun to create this little camper so it looks like one of the Happier Campers. Okay, so there's my cut. Now, when you put it down, do make sure that all of these pieces are facing the same direction as right side up for your camper. And then I've got my fine tip glue pen. Let me open that. And we're just going to make this glossy. So you're going to squeeze this on and just take your time and fill. You don't want lots of bubbles in this. And I do it like I'm kind of scribbling. Sometimes it can be helpful if you've seen the videos of um, cookie decorating to do the outline and then fill so you have kind of a, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a dam to keep this from flowing over the edge. I've got a couple holes here and then we're going to come right over to this piece. here and then right along the bottom okay so I'm going to set that aside to dry let me cap up my uh, fine tip glue oops having trouble seeing that down through the camera okay and then we'll pop this out of the way to dry and then I've got my um, camper here cut from basic white and the um, little die cut windows and I'm going to take my light pool party and just give that a quick like scribble across so that it looks like it's a window and we're going to set those back in when the time comes. Let's set that aside and then got my light basic black and light smoky slate. Let's see, this is the light smoky slate and I want the bullet tip and I'm just going to color the hubcap under here and then use the light on the black to give some color to the wheel, the tire, And we may go ahead and just color this piece 
down through here so that it's black and I'm just giving it a little ziggy zaggy and I'm going to come in with a little bit of that light smoky slate to give it a little texture okay and then let's set this aside out of the way and we're going to do some die cutting real quickly so I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss and a piece of Poppy Parade and one of the scallop contours dies. And I'm going to place that all the way up at the end and use a piece of my washi tape to hold that in place. And we're going to do a partial die cut, which means that I only want to come down just below this last scallop, but not right here to the end. Let's straighten all of this up so that it doesn't move with my crooked plates as I roll it through. Okay. All right, and then Let's pull this back and set this down and lift this off. And then I'm just going to match up my scallops here. Okay, hold that in place. And then I'm going to push this up towards the end of the plate so that this piece is not going to get cut right there at the end because I'm not quite ready for that yet. Make sure this second plate is straight and then I'm not going to roll this under. So let's back this out and make sure we've cut. I've got all but one piece cut there and that's okay. It's left a mark for me to use. And then I'm going to turn this around now and come almost to the end. I'm lining this up. So you're going to leave about a quarter inch at the end. Make sure this is straight. I can see some of my uh, stitched lines hanging out over on the side and I don't want that to happen because then my pieces aren't going to be lined up and then I'm just going to bring this kind of down at the bottom so that I don't have much cutting to do okay over that and we're just going to do that a second time So it will take three passes to cut your frame here. Let's put this all out of the way and we'll use our snips to cut that one loose here. And we've got the marks to use. Okay, and we're loose on this side. And by marks, I mean little score lines that I've left. Didn't want to run that back through and hope to line that up where I'd already marked the cardstock. So I'd rather cut it loose with my paper snips. Let's set this aside. And then, and then I've got this piece of the Rings of Love designer paper that is also one of the products you can earn during celebration and my light pool party stamp and blends and i'm just going to give this a little background color just making sure that i've picked up the one that i intended so i'm just going to scribble color in here and rather than having you watch this whole process. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll be back as soon as we're ready 
for the next step. Okay, so here's our piece that now has a pool party background. And then I'm going to take the light, um, the dark pool party uh, marker with the um, bullet point. And I just want to come in here and add a little shading around some of this, just to highlight a little bit and I'm not paying attention too much to whether I'm all on the, the same side and just to give it a little more something. And you'll want to make sure that your uh, pool party ink is dry, the light, so that um, you get this nice line of shading. You're not looking to blend. You're looking to create um, a way to make this stand out a little bit. So I'm going to finish my trip around these uh, little pieces on the paper, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've finished outlining these, and I don't know if you can see, it gives them a little, uh, like, 3D-ish uh, effect. Put that out of the way. And then I've used our dies again, the tree lot dies, and I've cut um, Evening Evergreen, Parakeet Party, and Mossy Meadow. And you could just use the mossy meadow on here. It looks pretty good, but I really like it for this when you add this layer as a drop shadow. Now, if I'd been smart, I would have cut my mossy meadow and my evening and my parakeet party rather using um, one of the adhesive sheets so that all I had to do was pull off the backing. But since I didn't do that, I'm just going to dot on a little multi-purpose glue and then turn this over and do the same thing and dot on some multi-purpose glue. So this won't be stuck down in every little conceivable place, but that's okay. And then I'm going to stick this right on that evening evergreen tree, and we'll set that aside a minute. And I also cut a smaller one, so we're going to do the same thing and dot on a little bit of multi-purpose glue. And I'm not squeezing every time. I'm using the tip to drag on some ink, ink, some glue, and then I want to place this on so it's kind of like a a drop shadow. So when it appearing just below the mossy meadow, you can have it to the side or peeking out the top, whatever way works best for you. And then we'll put this on this evening evergreen tree. And then they've got a little bit of detail. Okay. And then let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And for that, I've got a piece of Evening Evergreen. And I'm just going to wipe this with my embossing buddy and bring in my sentiment. Now, it's from Hello Ladybug. And let's just... Give that an ink with Versamark. And I've just tapped that on. And let's see. I want to see that it's right side up. And I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm going to say just to the right of center. Now I'm not going to mash. I'm just going to rub. And then I've got my scrap paper. 
And I'm going to sprinkle on some white Stampin' Emboss powder. Give that a good flick to get those uh, stray bits off. And right back in to my jar. It's a little humid here. And when it's humid, you may end up with some extra stray bits. I'm going to heat up my heat tool first, and then I'm coming in here from behind in an effort not to blow my embossing powder around. Let's move this so I don't heat my fingernails. Just waiting for it there. Okay, and then it says it's a good day. And then let's pull out those paper snips and we're going to cut a little banner end coming up at the center and then in from each side. Didn't quite cut that loose, so let's give that another quick little nip on each side. Okay, there we go. And we are ready to assemble. Let's start with our camper, which we started with at the very beginning. And I've got that polished pink piece that's nice and glossy now, that's been cut with the tree lot dies. Yeah, you can see the glossy there. And I'm just going to take my multi-purpose glue and again, if you wanted to cut your smaller pieces with uh, adhesive sheet behind it, that's always a good uh, trick. Makes it easier for um, adhering. Okay. Just love the wiggle room that you get with your multi-purpose glue. So I've got my pretty pink bottom for my camper. Let's bring in my card base and we're making a slimline card here and I've used Evening Evergreen and I've got a piece of basic white for the inside and then I cut um, colored around this uh, quadruple mushroom with the pool party and gave it the um, same shadow technique that I used for our piece for the card front. And we're just going to use that right down here in the corner of our card, our layer for the inside to give it a little something. Okay, and then let's adhere this to the inside. Now remember both the dies and the designer paper are part of celebration, which is going on July and August 2022. When you click the arrow below this video, it'll open up the description box and you can um, find the link to my store so you can take advantage of celebration. And I've got our pool party layer here. And with the exception of the polished pink and the mossy meadow, I have stayed with colors that are in the designer paper. That's not always a must. I've used my cardstock sampler ring to uh, find my coordinating colors. Okay, and let's line that up and we're going to center this so you check the top and two sides or the bottom and two sides for your center. And then we've got this great designer paper and I'm also going to bump it on dimensionals because I love dimensionals. Well, what's not to love? Make sure you're using enough of these so that you're not going to 
your pieces aren't going to sag. That's not a pretty look. And then the last two down here at the bottom. Oof. If they want to cooperate, my fingers don't think they do. Okay, and we're going to fit this right inside that stitched line so that we can see that as part of our design here. Okay, and then I've got trees. So I'm going to dimensionalize the top, but not the bottom. And I'm going to put this first one in here. And by not dimensionalizing the bottom, it makes it easier for this piece to stand, um, be up without having to put lots and lots of extra uh, dimensionals. Let's straighten this up. If I put the flat edge top and bottom, then it won't show. And want to put one here making sure I'm avoiding the window in the door and the window in the main body of the camper. Okay. Okay. And then if you'll remember, I cut these pieces out at the beginning and I'm just going to slide them right down in. Take my take your pick to help me move it around if need be. And I want this recessed just a little bit so that you get that 3D-ish look. The shadow from the tree is great. Okay, and let's put a dot of glue on this piece. Okay. And again, I'm using that putty end to help me fit it down in there. Okay, and then we need to pop this tree up and let's find my mini dimensionals here. We're gonna put, I think, need two of those on the top because of our camper here. And we're just going to kind of make it look like it's parked behind the tree here. Let's put this out of the way. And then we need our sentiment on here. Let's see if my dimensionals are going to fit. Again, if I'm smart, I'll do the flat sides there. Whoops. There we go. And then we're going to whoop, put this right side up and bring this out just a little bit. And there is our card. Thanks for stopping in today. This was Sarah Levin, the Artful Anchor. If you're in the United States, please do some of your shopping in my Stampin' Up! store. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card-making friends. And when you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye.